Hi everybody, Dr. Kelly here, answering a question that my best friend in the whole world just sent me. Uh, she's about my age, she's got four kids, and I actually saw her a few days ago. She lives up in the Boston area, and she I'm going to read you what she wrote me. Uh, you know how I was having back pain? So Friday night, this is Sunday morning, today, right now. Friday night, it became excruciating, and I couldn't get up and move. Saturday morning, I proceeded to have a full-blown panic attack because of the pain and actually thought I was having a stroke or dying because the symptoms because of the symptoms. So I spent 12 hours in the emergency department and was diagnosed with a herniated disc at L L4, L5 and L5 S1. So I know I have steroid injections and PT in my future and I need any tips or tricks you might have. So that sucks. That sucks. There's no getting around it. Like, that's a sh crappy situation. And I'm sure she handled it as well as anybody possibly could in that situation. Um, but that sucks. Let's get that. Let's establish that straight out of the gate. Um, number two, that's pretty common. Unfortunately, it's crappy and it's pretty common. Herniated discs happen. And they're really, really, they can be really, really painful. Um, so I said, did they take any images? She said, yeah, I had a CT and an MRI. I said, how is it now? Are you home? She said, it's better than yesterday, but it's still painful. I'm currently on a steroid. She's on Valium. She's on ibuprofen. Um, she's got to call the pain clinic tomorrow because she's probably got to have steroid injections. Like, she's, she's on a lot of stuff. And this is a woman who does not take anything. Ever. She had well, at least one of her kids, maybe two of them, like, completely naturally. Went through labor, did childbirth. She just, and then her next sentence was, it's been so rough, this was worse than labor. Yeah, that sucks. There's, that sucks. Um, she said, have you treated this before? I said, yeah, I treat them all the time. The good news is they heal. They can take anywhere from a day to months to heal, but they heal. And she kind of said, yeah, they said it's usually like a solid six weeks. She asked, is the PT crazy or start small type of thing? Um, she had actually gone to a chiropractor a couple days prior to this flaring up. And she had done some stretch, like maybe two weeks prior to this really flaring up. She'd done some stretches. The stretches aggravated it. So she saw somebody else on the Wednesday or the Thursday before this happened. And they did some, like, gentle strengthening and mobility, stability work, excuse me. Um, so here's what I said to her. This is the whole point of, okay, we're three minutes in here. This is the whole point of this video. It's important to remember a few things. Number one, your body is strong and capable of healing. So this will not last forever. Number two. Find comfortable positions and hang out in them. Number three, pain is stressful and the stress hormone can cause inflammation, which can cause more pain. So when it hurts, try to remember that it's temporary and don't let it stress you out any further. Number four, sleep is restorative and really a miracle drug. So if you have to take something to help you sleep, sleep. Make sure you're getting adequate restful sleep. And number five, the PT should start small and uh, not aggravate you. Usually with something like this, there's typical exercises that help it that usually involve laying on your belly. Um, if they're aggravating, tell your physical therapist and don't push through them. Um, with something like this, with an acute injury, we want to we wanna listen to it. We want to listen to our bodies and we want to make sure that we're doing everything we can to allow it to heal, to not stress it out further, to not aggravate it further, and, and let our body do its thing, because our body is really, really good at healing if we let it. Uh, so I would try to keep you guys posted on this. Um, she said, you know, that's really helpful to hear and reiterate, and she's a nurse of all things. She knows a lot of this stuff, but sometimes we're just not in a position to advise ourselves, and that's why we have friends and healthcare providers. I appreciate you. Thank you for spending some time and your attention with me today. Keep moving and keep getting better every day.